Hello everyone, welcome back. Alright, so quick touch base video now. I'll, I talked about uh, shorting the pound potentially. Uh, it broke through this support level. Now, I treat this as a zone, so it's not an exact point as trading really isn't an exact science. There's always going to be the setups will be slightly different every time. So it did, it, it sunk through there a little bit. Um, it did have a bounce, so I didn't short that, and I didn't take the bounce either. But you can see the merit there, as uh, you know, on the four hour, it has been kind of downtrending quite recently. And then it's 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 quite a dynamic situation uh, in Britain with the Brexit uh, situation. You know, you have one day some bad news come out, the next day some positive dialogue with negotiations. So when you you know see a lot of weakness you sort of want to wait for it to settle and that's what I was doing and it, it you know I saw this and I was like well and then it bounced pretty nicely so I'm sort of seeing the uh, the ebbs and flows and really how you can sort of capture and move that because that's you know you could maybe you've ended I would have probably ended up here and then the stop down there, so that's like you know, 27 pips, and then you can make so it's around a one to one, you know. I haven't really back tested that though, or simulated tested that, so what. You know, what you really want is, that needs to be a high win rate as well, though. So to warrant that sort of risk to reward. I mean, I guess you could still hold the position. There is a little bit of overhead resistance as well. And just with the fundamentals in play, it's a little bit, uh, it, it can change daily. And then it can, you know, produce a can like that. So that's something to pay attention to. That That's what I was thinking about there. So uh, USDN, let's have a little check of running on this if that could be a trend continuation and it's sort of looking like it's it's holding uh, it sort of tried to, to push lower here didn't came back up again push lower it's holding this is pretty positive look at the four hour up and see what it looks like so yeah just a minor pullback possible trend continuation I'd look for uh, how it reacts up here on the, the 113 level and I might sort of get back in. I I did sell out of this when it when it started topping. Um, it was about 110 pips made, so not not a great deal. But you know, I ended a bit later. Uh, I ended you know up here, so I missed a little bit. I mean, that's around 20 pips or so. So you know, not the best trade, but. You know, I've, uh, I've been long already the USD yen this month, and I'd be willing to go long again if uh, required. I just want to check out the US dollar as well. Let's go to the euro. Let's go to the euro. Euro, euro. This is interesting. Uh, right now, there's no clear direction. Doesn't know what it wants to do. Had the bounce after a bit of a sell off sideways currently. I guess we'll wait and see whether it wants to, you know, go higher or, you know, continue on. So, want to keep watch of. Obviously, a lot of people trade this one. USD CAD. Oh, look at that. It was, you know, earlier in the week looking like, you know, maybe strength was continuing. But US dollar, you know, as you can see, it's sort of weakened. And the US index as well. I, I haven't got this prepared. But, you know, you see that's might be topping out so it's one one to watch the uh the majors and you know with uh how the US still is going to start a fair tonight as well I like Thursday night I like Wednesday night so I'll be up and I'll be watching the charts to see if we get some movement USD Swiss it's just sort of you know it's it's a little bit tougher here I mean
Let's just make them all lows. Might see what it does when it hits that trend line or it just continues to break down here for the USD Swiss. I'll continue to watch that. I was on the couch um, after work, so I don't have the mouse, but just, um, yeah, Kiwi, yeah. We'll get the Aussie to finish here. No, see the Aussie's really good at being range bound and sideways, and it can be particularly frustrating to sort of it sort of topped out there a little bit. I mean that that was that was a move there really that that was tradable. Uh, nothing quite here for me. So I'll go back to I'll finish on the pound, but the USD yen actually looks quite interesting too. So just looking at that. It's still holding strength. So watching this, see if we can get some weakness uh, and and go through this support zone here, or USD yen for a retest of one one three, and we'll see if it wants to push on and continue higher. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now, and happy trading.